That's what you get for being such an eager beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Emily Crowder. I'm a fourth year student here, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. My name is Eric Jones. I'm also a fourth year student, and my pronouns are he, him, and his. My name is Leah Dominski. I'm a junior this year, and my pronouns are her and hers. My name is Dylan Woods. I'm a sophomore this year, and my pronouns are he, him, and his. Okay, we're gonna get a little exercise band here. <laughs> you, get, you get the glutes warmed up a little bit, you know, get working. Cool. <laughs> Y'all thought this was gonna be hard for me? This is a resistance band. The other option was a ball. <laughs> um, I think gym intimidation is like the train of thought or like belief that if you go to the gym, like you will be kind of the subject of attention, you will be made fun of, you're not good enough or experienced enough to be at the gym. Yeah, it's it's basically just like the fear of going just because you're afraid you'll be judged by others. Mm -hmm. So then like this, all this fear builds up and you want to go and you want to go, but then you're just too nervous to even try. I'm going in for the side. <laughs> what am I touching? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Describe, just, what does it feel like? It feels very moist. Um, and crumbly. And crumbly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's deodorant. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Perfect, squeeze it if you need to. Ew. <laughs> oh yeah, squeeze Ew. it real tight. <laughs> Ew, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Is it like clay or something? Deodorant? Deodorant? It is? Yeah, oh my gosh! <laughs> it's hard to tell. Ew! Oh, oh wreck deodorant wreck too? Deodorant. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, some of the best advice that I've ever been given on this subject is one of my fellow personal trainers told me that whenever he comes into the gym, he's there for a reason, he's doing his own thing, he's never worried about what anyone else is thinking or what anyone else is doing. Like really in the moment with something you're doing in the gym, you're not, you're not necessarily thinking about anyone around you. So I think that's a big thing is you're there for a reason, you gotta get your stuff done, find something you really like and it'll kinda, kinda make it a little easier for you. I think it also really helps to like find an activity that you love doing just because then you can get lost in that activity mm -hmm. and stop caring about what other people think about you or what you're doing in that moment because like if you're like just kicking butt at some Zumba, you're yeah. just having a good time. And then the know? time just flies. Yeah. She looks like this. <laughs> oh boy. What? <laughs> that texture's so weird. Play it out? Like older player? <laughs> no. Can I get like a color hint here? Well, it's, it's brown, but it's not always brown. <laughs> you can try smelling it. Oh, am I really just like grabbing chocolate right now? <laughs> sort of. Rec related? Yeah. Oh, protein bar. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I think anytime you go into an environment, where you feel like the people there kind of have a grasp of it and have been there, like, it seems like, oh, I'm kind of on the outside of that. So when you do go in, it feels a little scary. I think that's a big part of it. It's a natural thing. You're nervous that other people really know what they're doing. And you might not have the greatest idea yet, but that is totally natural, totally okay to feel. Right, like, I feel like when I first started coming to the gym, I was like, wow, there are people here who are athletes. Um, and I just felt like I was not in that place, but like, they are not paying attention to you. Like, if you think about it, when you go work out, like, you don't really pay attention to anyone else. Mm -hmm. And, like, you're not judging them, like, oh, like, their squat form is terrible. Everyone's there to, like, listen to their music, to have some alone time. <clears throat> and so I feel like walking into a facility as big as this is super scary, because there are hundreds of people that could, that could judge you. Um, but it's really just, like, a nice time to, like, be alone and chill with yourself. Awesome. <gasps> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Is this the kinetic sand? <laughs> Hang on, can I smell it while I get in trouble? Oh, that is vanilla protein powder or chocolate. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh. 
Is this some sugar? <laughs> pre-workout? Pre-workout. It's gotta be pre-workout. <laughs> no. How's it not sugar pre-workout? I can taste it. Protein powder? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Get huge. <laughs> You can still taste it if you want. <laughs> um, part of that is like really limit like how many pictures you're taking of yourself at the gym and everything. Because if you like look next to you and the person's taking a picture in the mirror and you're obviously in it, you're just like, like ooh. Yikes, that's my personal space that you're encroaching in now. Mm -hmm. So um, just be courteous of like other people in the gym and not take pictures of them. Um, and also just people are judging you just as much as you're judging them. So don't judge people. Oh, ha, this is a weight clip. Can't fool me. Is there something else in there? No. All right, go ahead and reach in. Oh, it's like the thing, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> you put at the end of your weights to keep it on, I don't know on the bar. Weight clip, yeah. Yeah, yeah. a weight clip, whatever. Easy, Yeah. right <laughs> Got away. Got it, 100%. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of the times what people choose to post on social media is only like the best side of themselves or whatever experience they're going through. And so that only feeds into gym intimidation and what people looking at social media see and assume they have to meet those sort of standards. But what they're not seeing off of social media is the downside and all the negatives that come along with any experience, including like going to the gym. And it, it's just when, <clears throat> when you're on social media and you just see like all these people with like beautiful bodies and stuff like that, it's just like you just naturally start comparing yourself to that and you mm -hmm. just get into like this loop of like, I, I wanna look like that. And then you start going to the gym and doing these activities, but you realize how hard it is to look like that um, and that not everyone can look yeah, like that. Exactly. So you, you definitely start um, beating down on yourself about it and that's just not a healthy way to do it. Mm -hmm. So unfollow. Um, so obviously we are personal trainers here at The Rec and there's about 20 of us. Um, so if you are ever looking to come in to increase um, a certain skill set or just to kind of dip your toes in the water more. It's a really great way to figure out um, how to program some workouts for yourself and what techniques you can use to see growth um, individually um, because that, that's pretty much our end goal is yeah. we, we don't want clients to keep coming back to us over and over again. We want to teach them the skills that they can work out on their own and have a healthy life yeah. beyond the rec. Some things a lot of my clients say are the best part of personal training is having someone to work out with you, someone to encourage you, someone to help you out with the structure and what to do to work out and definitely improve in any sort of fitness goal that you have. We're trying to help you set up habits, um, get the knowledge to really be able to carry this on throughout the rest of your life. So that's what we're here for. We just want to help and if you have any goals you need help reaching, we would love to help. <laughs>